student today we are going to discuss about class 12 physics ncrt exam exercise problem it's a ninth chapter sixth problem we are going to discuss actually this is question based from the prism okay now we are going to see how to find the solution for this question okay it's a book back problem ninth chapter sixth problem class 12 physics the question from the ray optics we are going to see yeah, first we will see what is a given data. The angle of the prism is given 60 degree. The angle of minimum deviation is given as a 40 degree. Okay. Now, they are given the refractive index of uh, air to water is 1.33. Okay. We have to find the refractive index of air to glass. Actually, this is the answer we should find. Uh, one thing I want to say, it is a A to G no. Mostly the answer will be 1.5, close to 1.5. Okay. And the minimum deviation when the prism is placed inside the water. These are the questions they asked. Okay. There are two questions is asked. One of the question is, what is the refractive index of A to G? Okay. The second one, minimum deviation when the prism is placed in the water. Okay. It is a very long question. You need to know how to use the log book also. I will be teaching with each and everything, including calculation. I am going to teach you how to find this answer. Okay. The first one, prism formula. When the deviation will become as a minimum deviation no that is a time refractive index is equal to sine a plus deviation divided by 2 sine a divided by 2 this is only applicable when the deviation is become as a minimum deviation okay in this question no the light is traveling air to glass okay usually we'll be getting the answer as a close to 1.5 now we'll check what we are getting it is an equal letter prism. The angle of the prism is 60 degree which is given in the question. The angle of minimum deviation. The angle of minimum deviation is 40 degree. Okay. Now, A to G. A to glass. Okay. Sine 60. Angle of prism fixed 60. Deviation 40. 60 plus 40 divided by 2. Whole divided by sine 60 divided by 2. 60 divided by 2, 30. Okay, here 100 divided by 2, sine 100 divided by 2, sine 60 divided by 2. Now, the next one, refractive index of A to G is equal to sine 50 degree, sine 30 degree. What is sine 30? Easily we know, 1 by 2, off. Sine 30 is 1 by 2. Okay, if we don't know also, I will tell you how to find. Okay, sine 50 degree. Now, I have to use with the log book. This is a log book, sine, cos, tan. Everything will be there. I am going to use with the sine. Okay. The first tabular column now is given with the degree. Okay. I want uh, it is a 50 degree. Okay. 30 degree first we will see. 30 degree how much we are getting? 0 0.5. That only we are taken as the off. Okay. The next one sine 50 degree. Okay. The first one is degree. Second one is the answer for that. Okay. Sine 50 degree. Here see here. 50 degree. What is answer? 0 0.5. 7660 okay the answer for this is 0 0.7660 denominator denominator directly will go into the numerator otherwise you can write this as a 0 0.5 okay so if you are taking 0 0.5 as a, a off node your calculation will be very easy okay mu of a to g this is a question they asked 0 0.766 into 2 what is the answer for this just a multiplication 12 13, 14, 15. Okay, 3 decimal. 1, 2, 3 decimal. So, refractive index of A to G, which we are going to get as uh, 1.532, no unit. Already I told you, refractive index of A to G, no. It's close to 1.5. Maybe 1.5, more than 1.5 or less than 5, 1.5. The answer should be close to 1.5. If you are getting that, means your answer will be correct. Okay. The next one, the prism is placed inside the water. Okay, prism is placed inside the water. Okay, now no, the light is traveling from water to glass. Okay, uh, we we want what is a minimum deviation. Okay, the new situation, what is a minimum deviation? That is a question. Okay, so now what I am going to do take is refractive same formula mu of uh, sine a plus deviation divided by two sine a divided by two. Okay, so now like this I am taken. What is A? A is called angle of prism 60 degree, which is constant. It's not going to change. But the now light is traveling from water to glass. Okay, 
now deviation is a question mark minimum deviation is a question mark when it is placed inside the water okay water condition the light is traveling from water to glass okay now i'm going to teach you how to find this answer okay see here what i'm going to do no a is 60 i know okay so this no refractive index of water to glass no you can take it refractive index of glass divided by refractive index of water this two ratio will give us this value okay uh, so we know this is 1.52 uh, something this is 1.33 which is given in the question okay now i'm going to substitute uh, the formula instead of writing this one you can write as a refractive index of a to g divided by refractive index of a to w is equal to sine angle of prism how much angle of prism 60 degree 60 plus deviation we are going to find divided by 2 again divided by sine 60 by 2 same formula but small changes i did okay now the next step no uh, off will be sine 30 degree 1 by 2 okay as we know first one it's 1.52 refractive index of a to g how much we got 1.532 1.532 refractive index of a to w 1.33 yeah to glass yeah to glass yeah to water okay is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 uh, it is called minimum deviation in water okay sine 30 degree what is sine 30 1 by 2 that you can take it this side 1.532 into sine 30 no that's give us a 1 by 2 divided by 1.33 just a cross multiplication this answer will get us a 1 by 2 is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 okay now no two tables cancellation it's going to be as 7 will be give us a uh, how much it's going to be 1.514 okay and again 12 six times okay again 12 six times okay so 0 0.766 divided by 1.33 is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 now no this two ratio we should take okay this two ratio division uh, so see here what I am going to get the answer normal division only okay so I will write here 0 0.766 divided by 1.33 is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 I am going to divide this two value okay just multiple with 1000 numerator 1000 denominator what I can get 766 divided by 1330 is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 okay this division no i'm going to write here 1330 766 okay point 0 how many times will get no 6650 as a uh, it is going to be a five times again if you can subtract this you will get 10101 uh, zero, one, zero, one. again zero i am taken okay now we are going to get 9310 it is for seven times okay again subtraction seven nine zero zero this is close to five times okay so this two division no i will get as a 0 0.575 is equal to sine 60 plus deviation divided by 2 okay if you are taken sign this side no sign inverse sign inverse of 0 0.575 is equal to 60 plus deviation divided by 2 now we have to find sin inverse of 0 0.57 uh, so 575 you can see with the sin log table okay now we have the answer okay we need how many degree it is okay 0 0.575 okay see here 0 0.575 actually 35 degree approximately 35 degree and uh, it is going to be 10 minutes I am getting okay otherwise you can write approximately 35 degree so this answer no I will get as a 35 degree okay so 35 degree is equal to 60 plus deviation divided by 2 this 2 if you are taken this side 70 okay so is equal to 60 plus deviation 60 if you are taken from here to here 70 minus 60 is equal to deviation which is going to give us a minimum deviation in water is going to be 10 degree okay thank you for watching my channel if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone